redshirt sophomore supply chain management major and is the starting center for the Huskies, Seth Jonathan. I should probably put the microphone up a little bit for you guys, right? Good evening. It is my honor to be able to introduce my dad, Eric Johnson, as a member of the 2017 Bloomsburg Athletic Hall of Fame. During his playing career at Bloomsburg, my dad was a two-time All-PSEC performer and two-time All-American. In 1992, he was drafted by the San Diego Chargers in the fifth round and was the 140th overall pick in the draft. He played a total of five years in the NFL before uh, it ended because of injury. My dad has told me everything I know from growing up and becoming a man to knowing how to play the game of football, which he was pretty good at doing. I'm very proud of my dad for everything he has accomplished while he played here at Bloomsburg. And I know I have some big shoes to fill during my next two years here at Bloomsburg, and I hope that one day I will grow up to be as successful as he is. So, without any further ado, I'm proud to introduce my dad, Eric Johnson, as a Bloomsburg Athletic Hall. Thanks, Seth. That was, uh, that was really nice. Um, I'd like to start off by um, thanking the Hall of Fame Committee, Dr. McFarland, Dave, Dr. Hannah, Chet for nominating me for this wonderful award, Coach Dare for showing up, and Rob Grow. Rob Grow. When I came to Bloom, Rob was the first player on the team that took me under his wing. And he's the only player here tonight. Now, there was a lot of players that called and congratulated me, but thank you, Rob, for showing up tonight. Back on March 29th, I was done teaching class for the day, and I went in and I, I checked my phone, and it was a voicemail from Bloomsburg, so I listened to it, and it's Dr. McFarland on the other line. And as he's talking, I'm getting flashbacks of when I was at my previous school before I came here. I'm thinking there was something wrong with Seth. He was hurt. He failed out of school. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> and at the very end of the conversation, he assured me that everything was okay, and he just needed to talk to me. Over the next couple days, we played phone tag and on March 31st. My wife was kind enough to let me go on a golf outing down in Ocean City, Maryland, um, with five other of my friends. Uh, it was her birthday, by the way. And she let me go. And um, the phone rang and it was Dr. McFarland. And I told the guys in the van, we were heading out to the golf course, and I told the guys in the van I needed to take the call. And they all got quiet and he told me the news and I was ecstatic. I was very humble to be recognized as one of the best players ever to play here at Bloom. And I'll get into that in a second. Uh, I hung the phone up and one of my good friends, Wade, said, what was that all about? And I told him, and the whole van erupted Needless to say, we went out and had a very good time that night. I can tell you that. <laughs> My path to Bloomsburg is probably like, unlike any one of the athletes that were standing up here tonight. By the way, congratulations to each and every one of you. I'm very humbled and honored to go in as in, into the class of 2017 with each and every one of you. My path here uh, is probably a little different than most, most athletes. In 1986, I was a freshman at Penn State. I was a member of the national championship team. In 1987, I, I, was, I was a backup. In 1988, I started next to Steven Wisniewski, who I feel should be in the Hall of Fame. Um, in 1989, I was sitting on my sofa at home. Dr. McFarland talked about being a student athlete. Um, when I was at Penn State, I was more of an athlete and a partier than anything. And uh, I was excused from the university on my own, you know, my own my own fault. At the time, I was going through a rough time, not only getting kicked out of Penn State, but my father was diagnosed with terminal cancer. So it was a very tough time. Uh, my best friend, Ted O'Connor, was a Saturday night. My best friend, Ted O'Connor, called me and said, Eric, let's go out. You know, let's go out and just have a good time. We went out, met at a restaurant, and unbeknownst to me, he brought two players with, or two, two of his friends with him. 
Salenzino Brown. Through conversation, I found out that they played, Bloomsburg, uh, played football here at Bloomsburg. We had a good time. We talked. I found out information about them. That, you know, Sal was a running back here. Salenzino was a linebacker. We parted ways. Monday morning came. I was walking out the door and the phone rang. And that's really when my life changed for the better. It was Pete Adrian. He was on the other line, and we, we had a nice conversation. Pete Adrian was the head coach here at Bloomsburg University. And I put two and two together Sunday morning. I found out from, from Sal and Zeno that they had called Coach Adrian, told him about me, and thank God Coach Adrian called me that Monday morning. Mary Gardner, thank you. I want to thank you, too. Um, you were the AD here when I was here. Um, or when I came to Bloomsburg, we've got you and Coach Adrian and Salazino Brown. Um, I don't know where I'd be today. As, a, as an athlete, you always have an aha moment playing in college. My aha, mo uh, aha moment was when we played Mansfield. Um, we beat Mansfield. Jerry Marks rushed for 300 yards in that game. And being an offensive lineman, opening holes for a running back to, to, to gain 300 yards was, was an incredible feat. At the time, it was a Division II record. It still is a Bloomsburg University record today. And I'm very proud to say that I was one of the guys that opened the whole sport in. Being a lineman, you don't get... <laughs> Being a lineman, the only time you're ever in the paper is if you let up a sack. So I mean, there plenty of them. But I'm uh, just knowing that Jerry was running behind myself, John Wetzel, uh, Timmy Ronan, Brian Croft, Mel and David, uh, Brian Mellinger. It's just an honor to see that every time I look in the program. I went on to play five years in the National Football League. And a true story, we're playing the Raiders in the Coliseum. And um, I was playing against the great Howie Long. And I came out, I was, I was shaking in my boots. I mean, this, for me, this is nothing. When you're playing against Howie Long, you're nervous. And I remember the first time I, I was blocking him, and he turned to me and goes, where's Bloomsburg, what, like that? And I said, it's in Pennsylvania, it's Bloomsburg Huskies. And I ran back to the huddle because I didn't want him to get any more mad than what he really was. So, um, that's a true story. Um, but anyway, my time in the NFL was phenomenal. Um, an injury in 1997 to Arizona Cardinals kind of ended my career. Um, when I was done playing, I went back to school. I got my degree in health and physical education. I've been a teacher for 14 years. Uh, I'm very proud of that. That's probably my biggest accomplishment going back to school, uh, to be a role model to my kids, to um, let them know, you know, that I got my degree. I got my master's in education. Uh, I've been teaching 14 years at Fleetwood Area School District in, in, in Berks County. With that being said, um, my family, Seth, that was an amazing speech. Thank you. Maybe one day I can come up and introduce you here. To my daughter, Megan, who's going to Fordham on a basketball scholarship. You're awesome. Now I'm gonna get teary-eyed. <laughs> Jake, keep playing the hard, buddy, okay? And then to my daughter, Claire, she, she made me this. It just says you're great. I don't have tears flowing, I can tell you that. But anyway, um, I'm very honored and humbled to be standing here. I only played two years here at Bloom. And um, like I said, when, when, when Dr. McFarland called me, I, I just I thought of all my ex teammates. And I'm always asked the question what I miss most about playing. And by far, it's definitely the locker room. And what I mean the locker room is it's, it's the teammates. It's my teammates. And um, going to battle every every day, going to practice, and, and every week in the game, football's a unique sport. You play one time a week. And uh, you lay everything on the line. And I hope when I came here, um, you know, I laid everything on the line. And uh, hopefully my teammates, my family, are proud of my accomplishments. Thank you very much.